Alright guys, today we're taking on Mira uh, in Renegade Platinum. I hope you guys enjoyed the little Radical Red detour with the Giovanni fight. Um, I just figured a uh, change of pace would be cool, kind of cool. And anyways, uh, my plan for Mira is fairly rough, but uh, I'm going to lead with Matang. And Iron had the Togetek to kill it in one. Gyarados is like a pivot, just like, to, and like bulky, spe pretty specially bulky, so it can like potentially check something like a Kadabra, uh, if necessary. Uh, Murkrow is my Haunter check. Actually, no, no, no. Murkrow, I... Th yeah, yeah, Murkrow is my Haunter check. Because Murkrow uh, actually has some speed EVs from grinding, so it outspeeds the Haunter. Machoke is my Porygon check. Aerodactyl is relaxed, so it's actually slower than the Kadabra. But it outspeeds everything else in this fight and kills him. And then Stunky is my, uh, what do you call it? My Haunter answer. No, 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 it's not my Haunter answer. It's my, uh, what's the word? It's just a, it's like a pivot in this fight because it actually gets 2 would by a uh, Kadabra when it uses Dazzling Gleam. So I need to be in a position where it, I know it's going to use a Psychic Attack. Which isn't very often, but it happens. So, let's do our best to, uh... Oh, actually, I'm gonna pop down to Orbrig and buy Repel. Because, uh, some of the wild mons, uh, I can't run from with Matang. So I'd, pr I'd prefer to just Repel against them. Sorry about the absolute Eurape audio right now. Okay, um, yeah. So I should be able to get back up there pretty easily. And then, yep, boom, boom, boom. Root 206. Oh, I accidentally forgot to spray the damn repel. Thankfully, it's a slugma which Matang can actually run from. It slows pace. Alright. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I still have 26 honey from, uh, cause w the way I, I've been grinding, uh, is like specifically with this party because everything, uh, wants attack EVs. I've been grinding on the Beedrill, uh, honey tree outside of Eterna Forest. Anyways, let's get right into this battle. Oh, I forgot to go over my encounters. Um, I got Stunky in the grass outside of this cave, I got Zubat in Wayward Cave, I got the Porygon Gift as my Galactic Eterna building encounter, I got the Togepi as my bike shop encounter, and then Aerodactyl as my Pewter Museum encounter. Not Pewter, Orberg. Iron Head is just gonna destroy this Togetic. Okay. Let's see, Haunter comes out. So I should just be able to go into Murkrow and outspeed. I really wish this Murkrow would sucker punch, man. That would be so good. <laughs> if this Murkrow would sucker punch, this fight wouldn't even be a concern at all. Okay. And then we should outspeed and destroy this with Fane Attack. Perfect. Alright. Good plan so far. I was not dead to a crit there, which is... It immensely important for this fight. Okay. And then, uh, Porygon 2 comes out. It's gonna charge beam here, which is really not great. Um... I'm gonna choke here. Um, the reason why is because, uh... I, I can't, I don't have any- Oh, it's gonna try attack. That's not great. Um, hopefully it doesn't burn. That'd be really bad. Or freeze, for that matter. Para is actually the one status I'm fine with because of Cherry Berry. Now, I should be able to just, uh, 2 KO this with Brick Break. Ooh, I'm slower. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Um, I think they should still put it in range of Aerodactyl, though. Unless it freezes me. Yeah. That happens sometimes, you know? Really great. 
um, this is why we put backup planes. So I'm going to Matang now. I should have taught this Brick Break. Does it learn Brick Break? I have no idea. Um, let's see, let's see. Just don't status me, please. Okay, good, good. Signal beam. Alright, that doesn't do enough. I'm just gonna be able to iron head this twice, and then I'll be able to kill it with a bullet punch. Just don't confuse here. Please, please, please. Yes. Okay. This is a really scary fight, man. Hyper potion? She has a hyper potion. Oh, okay. Iron head here. Don't. Please don't confuse, I really need this iron head chip. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna swap into Aerodactyl. On the, what do you call it? The signal beam, okay. Charge beam, okay. This shouldn't take me out in one. I'm an, I'm, I'm an Aerodactyl, I, I should live one. Okay, perfect. And I, I wing attack. They should take this out for sure. Okay, okay, we're we're in this. Okay, and then Kadabra comes out. Now I'm aware that Stunky is probably dead to Dazzling Gleam crit here, but I am gonna swap Stunky into Psybeam. Come on, Psybeam, 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 Psybeam. Perfect. Okay. I have to take a Dazzling Gleam, but Night Slash should kill in return. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. I think I'm fine. Oh my god. What a battle. <laughs> so, in summary, Mira paralyzed my... Machoke on the first, um, I should have revenged there, by the way, instead of Brick Break, but you, uh, you live and learn. I thought I was faster, because it's a timid Machoke, but, um, it paralyzed it, I got the Cherry Berry, then it froze the Machoke right as I was, no, 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 it didn't, yeah, it froze the Machoke right as I was about to get a Brick Break off on it, then I had to swap Matang, avoid the, uh, Signal Beam Confusion self-hits, kill it, and then swap out to Aerodactyl on a charge beam, take it out, and then once Kadabra came out, my Aerodactyl was slower because of its relaxed nature, so I had to swap into Stunky, and then avoid a Dazzling Gleam crit, and then take it out. I got hacked, but I also had to avoid some hacks here. So, you know, not too terrible, but, um, anyways, the... Mira side quest in here is really boring and tedious so I'm just gonna save here and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day.